they're just really cute. That's what I like. Mean. Good morning. It is 6.39. Still waiting for the sun to come up a little bit. Didn't want to do this for like two weeks straight, I think. We were 0 for 7 last week, so this week, I guess 1 for 14 isn't bad. Wanted to come get that good morning light. This is one subject that I know I've been wanting to get on film, and I knew I wanted it to be backlit, and morning would be the only time to do that so here we are along with this and some other things I have 28 shots left on this roll of Kodak gold if my math is right yep 28 shots so try to knock those out and go to the lab today <laughs> Well, this episode could have very well been a tutorial on how not to shoot a roll of film. Not the shooting part itself. All that was good. It was a really fun morning walking around and getting nothing but bangers. But then I did this on my very last exposure. F11 and 500th. Oh yes, we had one more. I think that was the last one. I think we had one more. I think that was the last one. Maybe there's one more. I don't know. Gotta finish this roll. Gotta finish this roll, guys. So that means you're gonna buy me another coffee. <laughs> another coffee after this? I did get Red Bull. That was it. We had two more shots. Those are the last two. I over cranked the advance wheel in my excitement. Thankfully I didn't break the camera, but I did break the film canister somehow. It went wrong mechanically with the spool inside and I couldn't roll the already exposed film back into it. And so after some research, some surfing on YouTube on how to possibly fix this problem, we decided that the best choice would be to make a room as dark as we could take the film completely out of the canister we rolled it up by hand brought it down to the lab told them what happened i wasn't expecting too much and to my surprise they were actually able to save 22 out of the 36 images but as you would imagine plenty of film scratches light leaks film burns other imperfections which if you're going with that look that people try to reproduce nowadays digitally that's like cool i guess so yeah let's go with that i had got the first few exposures the day before while well, me and Angela were on our way to one of our favorite coffee shops. This is something that I've tried to do a lot more lately, just bring the camera along with us. Even when we go do normal mundane things, you never know when the light's looking good and you might find something interesting to catch. First shot on this roll. Gotta get that warm up.
This shot could have been really good. It looked really good to the eye when I first saw it. Uh, the light was nice. The colors were nice, like pastel, tone, shade, whatever you want to call it. If there would have been a person in this window, that would have just capped it off and made it really sweet. But we knew that the next morning we had already decided to wake up early and catch that good light again. All right, still waiting on light. As you can tell, everything that's tall is already lit down here in the street. Still dark. So woke up at six and it's now seven. So could have slept in a little bit, I guess. Just risked my life for that shot. Got in between um, my cat and her kitten, I think. You're welcome, YouTube. You're welcome. just left I thought I saw my neighbor on the street and I waved at him like I knew him and he gave me one of those waves like I don't know who you are so waved at a random guy and we've been doing a good job of avoiding the street cats I don't know if you've seen the show predator on Netflix but it feels like we're right in the middle of that show oh no oh. thanks I'm its mom Think time it's mom. I'm not your mom. I'm not your mom. La la la. Well, our car still isn't even lit yet. Some of the other street is like perfect of how exactly I thought it was gonna go, but this one isn't. Oh well, I guess it motivated me to get up early anyway. There's some other cool cars down here that are lit though. We're gonna get those. people would have parked in a way that would have framed the car perfectly in this door frame. Hey, when you're parking your car, keep that into consideration, all right? <laughs> Taxi coming. Taxi coming. Of these exposures, I think this one was my favorite. 
there's multiple layers and the reflection in the window adds even another layer gives it that texture and character but this was not the most important thing that we had going on at the time there's something way more significant that needed to be taken care of 30 minutes later my husband finally decides that it's time for coffee if you know me i love coffee i don't like when we delay it Take notes, guys. Take notes. An hour later, I finally got my coffee. But you still can't talk to me until I'm done with it. pass by this car probably every day and there's usually cars parked on each side of it and we always say man I wish the car was by itself because we take a picture of it what well, today is our lucky day got five shots left on the roll gonna finish it with this I like how this one looks like an old unpreserved print that you would find in a box in your grandma's house that was all like yellowed and old and taken way back in the day. But on this first one, I really do like this composition. I'll have to go back one day and try to reproduce this one. This was like the original composition, so got to nail that pretty good. And maybe when I go and try to retake this one, I won't completely ruin a whole nother roll of film again. I was just gonna say a special shout out to the woman behind the camera. That would be my wife, Angela Womack, the DP on this video.